Okay, fish tankers, we are at Aquatic Warehouse here in, I believe it is Plumstead or Southfield, I'm not quite sure, but in the Cape suburbs, you can look it up on Google. Let's see what they have. Okay, as we're coming through the store, got a nice little display here. And then here is a sort of a start of a paludarium. I like the way this tank is configured with the sides. It needs a little more than it has, I think. But I could work with something like this if I tried the paludarium way. And some big aquariums for sale, also some a lot of other pet accessories and foods. Here's sort of a nano nook, nano table. Just take a look around. There's for plants, lots of dry goods. And you walk all the way into the back. And there you've got rows and rows of aquariums rows and rows of tanks and some big tanks and big fish as well. There's a little nano tank, nice planted aquarium. And here in the big tank we have some very nice parrots. Some really big guys, that looks like a Trophius Murai, the fish with a new co hump. Usually they have guppies and nano fish in these, but all that there is at the moment are these shrimps hanging out there in the moss. Here's some marine fish. Not really a marine outlet, but they have these, a handful of these, some regal tanks, not a regal tank. There's a selfin tank, and here's a hermit crab stealing the show. Moving house. What a Kofri secret. I'm going to try and draw him out, he's not shy at all. Make him turn to the side that we can see he's a big fellow. Let's see if we'll follow, yes, there he comes, he follows the camera. Finally a fish that works with the camera. Your usual array of plants, spotted plants. Right, some nice goldfish here. There's a nice Ryukin with that pointed nose. Really nice calico here. Wow, look at those speckled colours and the scales. Nice fish. The Oranda. Who of you keep fancy goldfish? Let me know in the comment section. What are your experiences with them? Difficult fish or easy? Here's something different. Hoplo cats, but albino hoplo cats. They go to a sort of a larger size, but I find they're very peaceful fish and I haven't seen the albino variety before. This is something I might pick up if I had space. Bees are nice, some frontosa. Really big fellows as well. So if you have a big tank and you want to do a species only tank, 
of subdued lighting, these guys can look very good. A real conversation point. Guys, please remember to hit that like button. Or let YouTube know that there's some action going on here. And here's some melanochromas or artists. Once they grow up, the males turn a sort of blue color and they are aggressive fish. Some baby brontosa. And something else, let me know in the comment section if you can hide it. I'm not the world's Malawi expert, definitely not. So the fish that I've been really been into very much. Here we have some baby geophagus as well as some Bolivian rams. And some assorted in Buna. More of him. And these are Texas, uh, Texas cichlids, still small or grown to substantial fish. I apologize for the lights, some of the lights are not working. Here's another Mbuna, slightly bigger fellow. And lots of moss. For odd shrimp floating around. Look at this duckweed for sale. Where have you last seen duckweed for sale? Where usually people try and get rid of it. Oh, that's African entrepreneurship at its best. Here's a baby tiger shovel nose. Just remember, they grow into substantial fish. So make sure you have an aquarium almost the size of a swimming pool. Guppies, nice looking male guppies. Sawtails, seems to be a lot of sawtails around everywhere I go, some tuxedo swords over here. Some more guppies. and some glow danios. Here we have some ender guppies. And the usual mollies. And Siamese algae eaters, you see the very distinct black stripe. Great for destroying black weird algae, but they do grow bigger. And some rainbow fish in between them. Banded rainbow fish. More rainbow fish. And these are some Busmani rainbows, but you can see they're still small, they haven't colored up yet. And some Gara Rufa. What were your experience with these fish as algae eaters? Tell me in the comment section. And some black skirt tetras or black widows as I call them. These are glow fish that hasn't, haven't been glowed up yet. I prefer it like that. Here's a lone giant danio and a paradise fish.
And what do we have here at the bottom? These are not Siamese algae eaters. These are Chinese algae eaters. You can see the black line is not as distinct. It's mottled on the edges and there's a sucker mouth. And if you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know I recommend stay away from these. They turn into aggressive fish. Dwarf karamis. And there's a zebra loach. The number one behind the eater. White skirt tetras. And the pole garami as well. Here's some ranchu, fancy goldfish. And black moors, long time staple lobby of those googly eyes. Some comets. It's summer. We don't really have a pond season in South Africa. We don't have things freezing over. It's too hot here. Some Otto Sinkless and some White Cloud Mountain minnows. Beautiful beta, nice classic red beta. Or Siamese fighting fish as we used to call them. And here's another one hiding behind the thermometer. There returns for us some good colour. Some ember tetras and harlequin rasboras. And another beta. Cherry bobs. Black neons. And of course, a normal neon tetra. There's a panda quarry as well. Rummy noses. There you see the setup. Guys, please remember to share the video among your fishy contacts. And as you can see, there's a lot of dry goods here as well. Lots of old school stuff as well. Look at those under gravel filters. One of the few stores that still has a variety of under gravel filters. And a lot of bits and bobs and parts, a bit of everything. And there we end back up with a nano planters aquarium. There's a little shrimp. Well guys, that was aquatic warehouse. A little bit low on stock I must say, but there's some really nice bigger fish there that I've shown you in the video. Guys, remember to subscribe. And look what I've got, I've got some for dirt cheap, some of these old fish keeping books. I always like having them around. Aquarium book for way the Germans do it. Let's see how the Germans do it, but they are known for being very good aquarists. So that's a little bit of fun. It was really cheap. And that's it. Remember to take good care of those domestic denizens of the deep.